Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. It's, it's, a, sea day. it's a day at sea. So we are heading down to breakfast and um, probably Razzle Dazzle again because I love their buckwheat waffle. Yeah. And then we are going to enjoy lots and lots of activities on board. Do drag bingo! Drag bingo! Florida orange juice is really, really, really delicious. What have you had today? I've had a chill pill. A chill pill? What's in that one? I don't know, I can't remember. We can't remember, but it's um, got, I think it's got a bit of banana in it or something. I think so. We've both tried that drink and we don't like it at all. So, um, it just tastes a little bit bitty, a bit watery, with a slight banana taste at the end. There we go, you know I've got my buckwheat waffle and Matt's got his chicken sandwich. Go just in the line queuing for bingo. Hopefully this time drag bingo. Yay, so I think it, it is actually titled Bingo with the Diva. So Carlos, the um, a woman named Carlos, our onboard drag queen, I think he's definitely better now. Now you make some combinations are always on these big boards okay yeah. always always and for this one you can use all right we're gonna do a nice big drum roll please on your lap so we go drum roll please everyone here we go <laughs> today we are playing ball for the first game 672 <laughs> I said, uh, six pack the hard way. Oh, run it back just one more time there, Brad. Six pack the okay. hard way. We are playing four. One thousand three hundred and forty-four. It's been together Jeff let's see what our first image is today all right deviled sea edge shell. and striation as well. what shell. do we think oh. of that reveal Ooh. 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 toenail <laughs> audience toenail oh. Oh, please. Here we go. <laughs> we are playing for 2,000. Wow. Four people get the bingo. What do you think? Top corner. Bingo!
last card you have is the red card, okay? Red card. And there's only one possible combination for this one. It's the big cross, okay? Mm. The big cross. One combination, that's it. And it's right there. One big cross. And you want to know how much the jackpots work? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Drum roll, please, I guess. Here we go. The jackpot round is for 2,689. Holy cow. I think that's one bingo. It was N36. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think he's actually won the 2,689 pounds. We have three, two, one. Come on over here, honey. Hello there, what's your name? Everyone say hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. One, two, three. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Matt. Hi, 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 Matt. Hi,
more towards back one, I am sorry to say. Back one, it's okay, still early in the Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Let's see. All right, go in. Oh, last moves too. So this is something for Spin the wheel. Let's see, let's see. Oh, ooh. Bring me for two. So, he is a watch. A purse and a high heel. Go! Watch purse, high heel. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's purse. See. I got a watch. Purse. purse. Fifteen. Come on. Who's got a high heel? Oh. 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 They are setting up for Scarlet Night. Look at all the fish. And then there's, there's activity going on behind us as well. We are now going to attend Salty Trivia. So I'm not quite sure if it's a little bit naughty, a little bit risque, not quite sure. There we go. We have just sat down to do Salty Trivia. Matt's gone to get a hot dog. Faber's gone to get some lattes. We're going to have a really good time. I had a hot dog. It was yummy. And Matt's had a skinny bar. During Trivia, we are team Do It For The Vlog. There you go. As you can see behind us, trivia is very busy. It's our third win. Oh, third win of Ahoy, sailors! Ahoy! Okay, so round one, we got seven. The winner right now is a team called the Ventures. Where are they ready? For the land of Pinos. It's going on. Who said that? Next round is who said that? Our team got nine. Do it for the vlog. And in first place with 17 points, it's Gotcha Nights. Gotcha Nights. So round three is Acronym. In first place, it is a tiebreak between. So it is a tie, so one person from each team has to go up and decide who wins. What is this? Oh, yes, this is a, this is for deck play cards, it's a number and it's a suit. Oh. Okay, just for the options, card space diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Come on, Dave. They're six, odd, and clubs. Okay, this is close because what it is, okay? Are we really okay? So I can announce that we're sitting. Match you got the winner, okay? Because this one right here, this is, it's a red card first of all, that's why this is the winner. It is the two of hearts right here. Woo! It is a perfect one to your guests, which means Matt and your team are the winners. Woo! 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 We won. Uh, empty handed. No, you do not. We've just right. found a load of bar snacks. I don't know what they are, but we are in Bar the Loose Cannon to get our free drink. There we go, we're just waiting for our non-alcoholic cocktails. Matt's had a Long Island iced tea, I think. Yeah. So those are our non-alcoholic drinks. Looking good. Okay, so the tentacles are out. Can you see them? They are reaching up through the roundabout as we descend. 
We're going down. Woohoo! There we go. We are dressed for Scarlet Night. Ooh. Ooh. There's a bit of a wobble then with the same. Uh, Matt's got his new shorts on. I think they look rather nice, don't you? <laughs> Let's go to Scarlet Night. So we've made it to the main dining room. Let's see what the special is tonight. What is it? Greek lemon. Greek lemon something. It looks good. Okay. Greek shrimp. There's some rice. Matt's having the Greek leg of lamb. I started eating and forgot to vlog. It's, I've had some meat and gravy and a cheesy flatbread and Matt's had... Everything Greek. Everything Greek. now waiting for the story of Scarlet Night, um, but I'm, I'm visually blocked by a tentacle, but never mind. So, long ago, long ago, before there was a moon, sailors used to venture out in the ocean, but only during the day, right? Why during the day, do we know? Do you have any idea? Well, because there wasn't a moon, so it was too dark for them to go out. They couldn't see, they were scared. Except one brave sailor. There was only one brave sailor who was very adventurous and wanted to explore the ocean at night. So he was like, wait, what can I do to explore the ocean at night? Like, what can I come up with? So he came up with this brilliant idea to create a fiber, a lamp that could go under the ocean to explore the ocean at night. All right? He used oil for this so it will, like, stay on under the ocean. All right? So the sailor ventured at night. And every night, he will go deeper and deeper and deeper into the ocean, trying to explore what was out there. Until one night, he went really deep, and he saw something like this, a big red tentacle. And guess what it was? Well, close. It was the octopus goddess. Yes, it was an octopus goddess. And he immediately fell in love with the octopus goddess. And she fell in love with his bravery since he was the only sailor that was brave enough to go and dive deep into the ocean at night. So they became lovers and then every night they would go explore the ocean a little bit deeper and deeper every night. Until one night they went to the and guess what happened? Well yeah. <laughs> he started running out of air and it was too late for him to realize that he had gone too deep into the ocean to come back up. So, the octopus goddess, she freaked out. She was really scared. She was like, oh no, my lover, the only person that I love in my life is about to die. What can I do? And the sailor, he knew. He said, it's too late for me. So, the octopus goddess saw the soul of the sailor leaving his body. And immediately, she was like, oh no, this is it. But then she remembered, wait, I'm a goddess. I can do whatever I want. I have powers. So the goddess grabbed the soul of this sailor and placed it inside the orb, inside the light orb. And then she threw that orb really high into the sky. And then, boom, for a split second, the whole sky turned scarlet red. And then it went pitch black, and then, boom, there was a moon. The moon was born, which means the sailor turned into a moon. That way she could gaze up into the night to the sky and see him every night and then every day they could come the moon comes down and visit her every day and stay with her. Aww. Aww. Everybody say Aww. Aww. Yeah, and that's the middle of Scarlet Night. Not only did she was it she able to see him every night, but she also did create the moon so that sailors like you, like all of you, could venture at night in the ocean. Which is why you're here wearing red for Scarlet Night. 
celebrating on this day. And that's the myth of Charlotte Knight. So we have come to the dock house. Matt's ordered a Long Island iced tea. I've ordered something coconut virgin cocktail of some description. We're going to wait here now until karaoke with the diva. The dock house is pretty empty as well right at this moment. Lots of people are dressed in red. Everyone's in their scarlet lady finery. There's lots of glitz and glam going on. Uh, I've seen many a sequin on a person. Here we go. My virgin mojito cocktail with coconut flavour is gorgeous. I do have a comment about the dock house environment. I just keep thinking that it's designed for cats. I mean, if you look at this footstool, it is a cat scratching post paradise. And then you've got the big pillars over there. They are just completely designed for cats. But it's a very peaceful, relaxing space. Even on Scarlet Night, when it's actually very busy, it's just so peaceful, relaxing, uh, calm, um, and you just feel really zen in this space. There we go. We are hopefully going to be seeing some karaoke with the diva. about seven more minutes until it kicks off. Everyone's kind of volunteering themselves, but I have no idea what songs are going to be sung. She's singing bad romance. Okay, look at my pink coat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, you're the one I've keep, been seeing videos about, aren't you? What? Yeah, I'm Yeah, okay, alright. Nobody can tell ya. Alright, there's all the only ones. No, we're gonna do the Aquapod song. We're singing, they might try and sell ya. Cause it hangs them up to see someone like you.
had such a fantastic time ah it was just so amazing and it is time now to close out the vlog so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to share on social media and of course do hit that bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video so from me from us matt's having a shower to you all and goodbye <laughs>